here's why I don't block guys after they dump me. Uh, but what I do instead that I used to block, oh yeah. Something about turning 50 though, I've changed my ways. Here's an example of what happened to me recently. I've been seeing a guy on and off for quite a few years. <laughs> um, and he asked me to go to dinner. We hadn't been seeing each other as much, but we had gone out like a few weeks earlier. After we got done with dinner, he said, I have something I want to tell you. I've had to make some decisions in my life. I mean, it sounded so ominous. No, he didn't have some like fatal disease, which he made it sound like. He told me he was had made a decision to get back together with his ex-girlfriend and they were moving back in together. To which I replied, I'm so happy for you guys. That's awesome. He's like, you, you're happy? And I truly was. I, I wish them the best. I know he really loves her. He loves her kids. And hopefully, hopefully it all works out. As I drove home, I thought, okay, well, what am I going to do about this now? Because we have been seeing each other for quite a while. And if he's moving back in with her, they've been talking for quite a while. He had plenty of chances to tell me this long before that night. I thought about blocking him, but the first thing I did is I told myself, you just said you're happy for him and you are. So sleep on it before you block. I woke up the next morning. I still felt super happy for him. Just tell the truth. I was like, I'm not going to block him. Here's what I'm going to do instead. When somebody makes a decision that I am no longer qualified to be in their life, I feel that they are no longer at the level that they get to have a placeholder in my phone. Do I have a thousand contacts in my phone? Maybe 2000? I sure do. But if you've just told me you're moving on, I'll still let your phone number ring through, but you don't get to have your name in my phone with a little heart emoji next to it anymore. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. First of all, let me start with the fact that this woman has this big rock on her finger and she keeps parading it around in front of the camera. Now this might be in reverse and it might be on the other hand, but it's very interesting how she has that on her hand and she keeps doing this. That's like a, 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 a it's like a, a ring that you have when you're married right that's not like a regular type of ring it's just very interesting to me that she keeps putting it in front of the camera um another thing is she's 50 years old and she says you know she's kind of changed her ways no you're just desperate and you're trying to save every contact in your phone because the truth is you really want that guy to fail at the relationship because you want him to come back groveling to you saying i should have stuck around stuck around with you you were the one I made a mistake that's why you're keeping it in there and guys you need to understand that women save everything they save all phone numbers they save all text messages and all that you might talk to a woman six seven years down the line and she still has all the texts she still has your phone even number even though you think she deleted it she might just contact you out the blue so that's why they they save that they save everything so guys be aware of that nice now I'm a guy and I don't save anything right I don't save messages if I'm done with somebody I'm not saving their phone number I'm not putting a star or check mark next to their name none of that they're just gone but women most women do the opposite of that so she wants to keep that door open that's why she doesn't want to delete the guy's uh, phone number and if you notice she says she has thousands of contacts and all that because she has a lot of guys in the friend zone she's probably still uh, friends with the guys that dumped her uh, the guys that she dumped um, because she wants to keep that door open uh, another thing she said is that she's happy she's not happy she wants that to uh, go down a bad road she wants it to end okay she's not happy stop lying there is no way that you can be happy with a situation like that if you've been involved with somebody for a, a certain amount of time some years like she said and all of that and all of a sudden they tell you you know what i've made some decisions about my life and i'm gonna get back with my ex-girlfriend and move in with her there's no way that you're gonna be happy with that as a as a human being so that's a lie and then the other thing is if you know if she knows that this guy loves this woman and loves her kids 
what is she doing in there? Why not just say, look, I understand that you still love this woman. You still love the kids. Why don't you go try to fix that and work that out? Because she's really not happy. And the reason why he was shocked when she pretended like she was happy is because he knows different. And he knows that that's a game. And he knows that she's being dishonest in that moment. And I'm sure that there's been other moments that let him know that she's being dishonest. And that's probably another reason why he decided to go back with his ex. You see what I'm saying? So my advice to a lot of these women is just stop playing so many games. Um, if somebody is not a good fit for your life, then just let that go. Why are you holding on? Stop it. Get some help. Because you want to win? What, what's the point in that? You're just wasting time. The older you get, the less value you have in the dating marketplace. It has nothing to do with who you are as a person. You might be the best person in the world, but it does not mean that men are going to choose you because you're a nice person. There's a lot of things that men have to consider. And quite frankly, the older woman, a woman gets, the more set in her ways she is. Anyway, that's my take on this video. I could be completely wrong, but that's just my perspective. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, of this video in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. I know I've been away for a while, but I'm back now. I'm going to be making some more videos. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think, because I'm very curious to uh, hear your opinion on this video. With that said, I'm out. Make sure you guys have a good day. Peace.